Hello, 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 people of YouTube. So, uh, today is going to be something a little bit different. Uh, I'm going to have a, like, speed tutorial up for you guys to watch while I just really, like, talk about things and maybe generally, like, go over what I'm doing. Uh, it's going to be a rock tutorial, kind of a uh, general rock tutorial where you could learn a couple things, but not really going to go into the nitty-gritty specifics of things um i kind of just want to start off by saying thank you guys very much for getting me to 100 subscribers um it's a relatively small amount but i'm still really really happy about it and it was a goal of mine so uh thank you guys very much um i wanted to give you guys an update on how the the tutorial for the nodes is coming along and uh, I'm kind of getting somewhere with that but it's just taking me a while to edit and I'm trying out a different style of editing because I've gotten some feedback and crit on my other two videos and kind of wanted to implement to those uh, to this one so yeah uh, this this rock tutorial just goes over some specific things like starting off with a shape node and then creating uh, one rock shape from that and using that with the tile sampler to kind of get your basic rock shapes. And uh, for this one, I, I was going for uh, more of a layered rock, like a desert rock type of vibe. So you're going to see me kind of actually like this this beginning part where i add the the stripes and cracks i kind of go back on that and uh i don't really like i i, I basically redo it um at some point uh in the middle of this video but still it's it's uh i wanted to show uh the process of it because sometimes you you don't get to see the behind the scenes on um certain things um so yeah there's there's that I'm gonna take a quick pause here. Um, so for this rock tutorial, really uh, what I want you guys to get out of it is kind of like any other like speedy tutorial. I, I really want to do the node based one. And honestly, if you have any video suggestions for like what kind of textures or materials you want to see, let me know in the comment comments below. I, I want to just do as many as possible and just show the process for things. Uh, I want this channel really to, to be a learning experience for people. And I also want to combine that with entertainment a little bit because I think if, if it's just me like kind of ranting or talking like this, it won't be as entertaining. So that's why I'm trying to get better at editing. And uh, I have a lot of plans for, for, for that, at least. I, I mean, I want to do like a, a video where I'm just critting other people's art or not critting, I guess, but commenting on it and kind of just giving my input on on what would make it better or how or if it looks cool already, just like saying what makes it look cool. Um, actually, so so right now in the speed tutorial is when it starts becoming really interesting because I finally find a good balance of the layered rock kind of shape that I want. And this is when I actually start polishing this shape. And I use a lot of different tile samplers layered on top of each other with a min darken in the blend to get like a more cracked, like uh, fizzle type of look for the layers. And uh, I also, oh, there's a really cool thing I do where I, use, I take a gradient uh, tile sampler and I just use that to get like really macro cracks and that really um, changed the layering up for me because at the beginning I was just going with a just a simple shape node type of uh, process but then I started to actually kind of do this and uh, it got way better and I also oh and then I combined that with a edge detect uh, flood fill type of uh, workflow which is a pretty common workflow and warped it to get all the like ribbing cracks that are also in there like the Voronoi 
kind of pattern that you see in rocks. And here, I think I go back to the base shape so that I can change it up because I think my macro shapes weren't reading as well. And this is when it gets really good because I finally find the good balance between my macro and my like, like my medium size cracks. And then I just start, I actually start getting cool rock shape formations here that are layered uh, as you can see right there. So really it's just me going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth uh, between all the all like the nodes and just trying to find something that works, you know? You just want to find one of those quality good ones, you know? Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm going to take another quick pause. So I guess I, I only really have one more thing to address, and that is streaming. I really want to stream, and people keep telling me to stream, and I and I want to do it because I think it'd be like a fun experience, and I I could build up a bigger audience with uh, on Twitch and bring them over to my YouTube. But I guess I, I'm just waiting for to buy a camera for to buy a camera. Um, <laughs> And I just want to get a good one so that my quality is good. But honestly, at this point, I'm just I'm just planning to just get like a decent camera and start there. I mean, you got to start somewhere. And if I just keep waiting to get like a like a pricey camera, I'm, I'm probably never going to do it. And I'm just going to look for every excuse to continue not streaming. And I guess it's better to start sometime soon rather than later. So. Yeah, I'll do, I'll, I'll, I think that's one of the last things that I want to address on this video besides just letting you guys watch the rock creation and, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to like, just keep on like talking here. I, I, at this point it gets really cool cause I figure out, uh, finally what, what to really do for the medium details and uh, micro details and I start adding like these really micro cracks and this warping that just sells the rock just really sells it like you can see here where I'm zooming in um, I'm getting like that pebble uh, rock uh, what can I say texture <laughs> um, yeah and uh, coloring is gonna come up soon and that's also really interesting because for the coloring I did some really cool stuff for this rock that I hadn't done before in any of my other textures and yeah so uh i really hope you guys learned something from this type of video i i know that when i used to when i was starting off uh with textures these type of videos I'd, i would just speed through because they would have no commentary but maybe the commentary will entice people to kind of listen and watch it for a little bit and then speed through it like <laughs> i mean i really don't uh you know like as long as you're learning something at the end of the day i i don't mind what you do to be honest um Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Since I'm not going to really have an outro in the outro, I'll just say it right now. Uh, peace, guys, and love y'all.